wird. That means family business, but a huge one. More than 400 companies in over 80 countries, 73,000 employees, volume of sales 11.8 billion euros. The Wirt Group is world market leader in its core business, the distribution of assembly and fastening materials, for example, C parts. Small, but nevertheless, not to be underestimated. In this regard, we have to talk to Wirt Industry Service. Welcome to the business debate. Rainer Burkhardt, C-parts are the linchpin of your business. What are the key issues people face when they talk about these parts and your industry? I think the key issue is that most of the people are not aware how important those parts are for their production process. When we take an example, the production of an excavator, they will use around 4,000 different items. And more than 2,000 of them are C parts. So if one of those items is missing, you cannot finish the excavator. This is a problem at the end. But these parts are hardly 5% of the cost, of the production cost of the excavator. So almost nothing. When you look on the other hand side, during the last month, we have delivered more than 1,040,000 different parts to our customers. More as 52% of them are special parts, only created for one customer. So if one of those parts is missing, the whole production process will come to an end. Small parts, big effort. What kind of uh, hidden potentials occur in this area? There are lots of potentials. To finish a uh, small part, you will take almost the same effort than for something very important. You have more than 21 interfaces in the whole process from the engineering until the part is delivered to your incoming department. And all these interfaces uh, create problems because you have to tell the story from the first to the last. And as it is in life, the story at the beginning is not the same story as at the end. And so I think cutting out of the interfaces is one of the biggest issues for our industry, where we can save lots of money. Are all industrial sectors aware of this uh, trend the way they should be, or do you see different progress in industry? No, they are not aware, because in former times, uh, people were available. It was not a problem to have those people in the purchasing process. But with the problem of the demography, they will not have enough people and so they have to take care about all those interfaces. They have to think about using the processes of Industry 4.0 to cut out those interfaces to save cost and also to save working time. And so I'm pretty sure that within the next years, everybody will take care about those processes, about those parts, and to save the time for more important processes in this company. But how to deal with these upcoming challenges? I think the most important thing is to start, to have a look onto the own processes where can I start with Industry 4.0? There are lots of possibilities. And then also to train the own people, because lots of people are afraid from introducing 4.0. They think about, am I able to work in this new environment? And with this, with picking out one of those small, not that important processes, they can learn how to deal with Industry 4.0, and then they will get familiar with this. And then we can go step by step through the whole chain of processes. So it's not necessary to change all processes immediately? No. You can start with one of them, and then you can learn. And after you have finished your side processes, as purchasing of C parts, 
then you can concentrate on your core processes. So from your point of view, what will be the most important thing? The most important thing is to start. Because if we only discuss all the time, oh, Industry 4.0 will change everything, but we don't start, it's only theoretical discussion. But we have lots of possibilities. We have the processes on hand, we have the technology on hand to do it. So let's go into the core business. Rainer Burkert, thank you very much. Thanks for joining us. See you next time on The Business Debate.